Hi everyone, welcome to Code Chef. In this video, we are starting our journey into the world of C programming with the most famous program of all time, Hello World. By the end of this video, you will know how to write, run, and understand your very first C program. This tiny step will give you the foundation you need for everything else we'll build later. Follow along with me and then try writing and running the program yourself on CodeChef. I've put the link in the description below. First, I'll explain the structure of a simple C program with visuals. Then, we'll switch to CodeChef IDE and write the program together. Finally, I'll give you a quick practice task that you can solve on your own. Remember, programming is a skill you build by doing. So don't just watch me, make sure you actually code it yourself on CodeChef. All right, let's get started. In this course, we'll be learning C step by step, starting with the very basics and slowly building up to real world projects. First, we'll get started by C by writing simple programs and understanding the structure of the language. Then we'll learn about variables and data types the way we store and work with information in our programs. After that, we'll explore operators for doing calculations, strings for working with text and user input so our programs can actually interact with people. We'll also look at control flow with if else and loops and later dive deeper into strings and character arrays. Along the way, we'll practice code debugging, finding and fixing mistakes, and we'll see how functions help us break bigger problems into smaller reusable pieces. We'll then explore arrays for handling collections of data, pointers to understand memory, and structures to organize related information. We'll also cover file handling so you can read from and write to files. And finally, once you've built a solid foundation, we'll put everything together in a beginner level and intermediate level project. So you can see how C is used to build real world applications. All right, so let's learn how to make our very first C program. Don't worry if this looks new, we'll go step by step. At the very top, we'll see hash include stdio.h. This line is like telling C, hey, I need tools to show messages on the screen. Think of it like plugging in a toy without batteries. It won't work. SCDIO.h is the battery pack that gives us the power of input and output. Next, we see int main. Every C program needs a starting point. That's the main. Imagine a big storybook. The main function is where the story begins. Int just means the function will give back a number when it's done. Don't worry for now, that number is always zero. Inside these braces, we put our instructions. The computer reads them one by one, just like you read sentences in a book. Now look at printf, hello world. Here's the magic. Printf is how we talk to the computer and ask it to print words on the screen. The words we want to show are inside the double quotes. The semicolon at the end is like a full stop in English. It tells the computer, this instruction is finished. It's complete. Finally, we see return zero. This means all done. The program worked without errors. It's like waving goodbye politely before closing the storybook. And that's it, our very first C program. Now let's jump into the Code Chef IDE and write the program together. This is how the compiler looks like. It's a very simple setup. You can jump into the compiler and we can do this together as well. All right, as you can see here, we have included the standard input output library written the main function and used printf to display our message. 
here a message being welcome to see programming now let's try running it click on submit and yes here we go welcome to see programming is printed successfully as a quick practice task try modifying the program to print a different message like this is my first print message in c this is available as a practice program on code chef and if you've already jumped onto the platform you'll be able to see that you can put your own message here practice your own task try a different message try different variations and you can also see that there is a solutions button just try it over here you can also copy the solution to the ide and click on submit and voila you'll have your code and your answers that's it congratulations you've just wrote your very first c program the best way is to learn through practice so head over to the code chef platform run the practice problems and try variations on your own so that's it for today's lesson i hope you enjoyed learning c with me i'll see you in the next one